Hey guys, um, good morning or good afternoon. Um, I didn't get to bed till like 6 o'clock this morning, so I'm still kind of waking up doing my coffee thing. Um, but I am doing a haul today on um, a vendor I don't think I've done a video on yet, to be honest with you. Um, this is Kimry Ann's, and it is run by Kim Martin, such a sweet, sweet woman. Um, she started just doing this kind of like as a hobby, and I got some of her, um, I don't know exactly what she uses now. I know she used before she was strictly paraffin, and I got some of her scoopables, like big tubs. They were like, oh my god, they're really good. I still, I still have some. They're like really, really good, and, um you know, really strong, so, and it was like, you couldn't beat the price, so it was amazing, but right now, she doesn't have a website, she has a Facebook group, um, so I will pin that information below for you, um, but she, her prices are pretty, I mean, they're pretty decent, she has, um, when you go to her Facebook or group or whatever, she has, you know, what she has for sale kind of thing and her scent list. Um, you know, not a whole lot of scent descriptions from what I can see. She's got a really a pretty big um, scent list. But um, this deal was, okay, here she has scents. If you go into the file section... Oh, okay. Okay, she does have scent list, but it's, um, you kind of have to do a control find because everything is, like, in one run-on sentence. Um, my OCD might fix that for her. Because <laughs> it's, it's kind of driving me nuts. But she does, like, loaves. She does, like, this, these muffin chunkies. Um, she does... Um, scent shots, and I mean her two ounce scent shots are only a dollar twenty five each. So that's really, really. I mean everything's priced really good. Sixteen ounce ounce loaves are twelve dollars. Twenty three ounce loaves, I mean, thirty two ounce loaves are twenty four dollars. Um, the muffin chunkies are three ounces. Those are two twenty five each. The funky chunkies which are five ounce chunks are three fifty each. But and then she has mystery bags, which are eight dollars each. This keeps opening back to her page. She does brittle, which is eight ounces for six dollars or sixteen ounces for twelve dollars. She doesn't do clamshell. Um randomly sometimes she'll do different shapes and stuff like that. But um so I think she has changed her wax formula. I don't think she just does just straight paraffin. Because in order to do these chunks and cut them up, I don't think it could be straight paraffin. It's probably par it's probably a parasoy. Uh, I can't find that information right at this moment. But, um, so she was doing just this little sale. She had some, I think she had some, like, leftover chunks from someone who had paste, uh, who had pasted, see, I'm really tired today, who had, um, what you call it? Who had actually like like placed a custom order and they didn't quite you know didn't follow through or something I don't know something fell through I don't quite know what the deal was but anyway she was doing she was she put up some chunks and I just said I wanted like three of each basically so this is going to be a small video this is only actually two cents but then she sent me um, a bunch of um, samples so really really cool I think I paid what did I pay twenty Two twenty one for everything, so it was it all came in a flat rate um, so I will just show you my little card here. she's so cute. I mean, I've been talking to her since she like started, so now, do I like facebook I'm gonna be hundred percent honest. do I like Facebook vendors like vendors that sell only in groups? No, I don't because they don't tend to be. It, to me, it's really hard to do. I prefer a website. Even if it's an Etsy, I don't really care. Um, 
like I said, this popped up, so I just ordered, you know, I don't know. Like, what is it? Do I normally order from Facebook groups? No. Um, you know, vendors who only have Facebook groups as their shop, per se. No. For no other reason, but it's really confusing to me. It's just, you know, you have the sense in one spot, you have set descriptions in another spot, you have what's for sale, you know, you're not really 100% sure, like, what's for sale, what's not for sale, what's, I don't know, it's just confusing to me, that's just my opinion, but anyway, so hopefully she will open up shops soon, um, but she sent me this cute little, well, she sent me this card, I don't know what it says, because, I don't know, it could be full of profanities, who, who knows, <laughs> She's such a sweet woman. Well, look at she puts this little sticker, and she wrote and th that this is coffee ice cream. So don't get it twisted. It's not chocolate or anything like that. It's coffee because she knows how much I love coffee. So, um, and I love vendors that send cards. I I don't know. I mean, even if it's just like, um, even if it's not like a card card. I just I like I do like cards. I'll be honest. I like it. I like the pers the personal touch. Um, oh my god, and she put all these stickers. It's so cute. It says, Chris, I appreciate your order. I hope you get great throw. Keep me posted. So, um, you know, I always kind of look at all those cute little stickers. I always let her know kind of like what I think about the stuff or whatever. Because this is only my first, this is my first order since she just, since she first, first, first started. So I'm really curious to see how this goes. Um, so... I got three of these chunks. I said three of the biggest ones. This is in Kimri Ann's. Kimri Ann's. Oh, she does have a Weebly shop. I don't know if it's stopped or not. I'll have to go there. Um, this is 3.4 ounces. This is a creamsicle mallow. This is poured 9413. So, um, it's probably not cured yet, but of course, you guys all know me. I have to sniff. I must, must, must sniff. Um, this is a good size chunk, too. They're actually, they're all good size chunks. I asked for, like, the biggest chunk. So, and I like how she posted how many ounces are on there. So, that's really cool. And the four days. Oh, this smells awesome. Like, straight off the bat, I get um, marshmallow. And marshmallow is really, in my experience, it's a hard, it's, it's, um, it's not a scent that you really smell straight off the bat, but this smells like really nice toasted marshmallow because um, it tends to be a really lighter scent. Um, but that's basically what I'm getting. So the overpour, which would be the main part, is the, toast, the toasted marshmallow. And then the creamsicle is the orange, the orange imbed, as you can see here. Um... And I can smell the creamsicle, too. It's definitely, you know, second. I wish it was maybe a little more orangey, although creamsicle is like an orange vanilla kind of creamy scent. So I guess I really shouldn't expect the tang of an orange. Oh, it smells really good, though. Oh, it smells good. And like I said, these chunks are really good. They're really big. So, I mean, I think these would be really good for, um, even like cutting off some and mixing and matching and that kind of stuff. So, getting these solo bags back together. So anyway, I got three of these. So one is 3.4 ounces, one is 3.6 ounces, and one is 3.9 ounces. So, and this 3.9 ounce one, I'll show you. Look at all the embeds in there. It's got some sprinkles on it, too. Um, you can see there. Um, I just recently got into chunks. So, I don't know. I'm really excited to see how this throws. So, I'm going to let this cure um, for at least a couple weeks. So those are my three in the creamsicle mallow. She had a couple others scents too, but um, these are the two that I like the most. This is in sugar corn pudding and vanilla bean Noel. 
And, like, again, there's her shop. I'll post it. I don't know how much is actually posted down there. I'll, like I said, I'll have to check it out. But um, this is 3.2 ounces. And this stuff, for being poured on the 4th, smells pretty good already, to be honest with you. I'm cold. So... I'm not a huge vanilla bean Noel person, but like I said, these prices and everything, I just couldn't beat it. Um, this one's smelling a little light to me. I really kind of wish I smelled more sugar corn pudding. Sugar corn pudding tends to be a very strong scent, as far as I'm concerned. Any sugar corn puddings I've gotten have been strong. And this one seems a little light. I can smell, like the vanilla bean Noel definitely tones it down. I mean, it smells yummy. It absolutely smells yummy. I'm just not sure, like I said, um, if this is, oh, this is not going to be close for me. I wish there was more sugar corn pudding to it, but then I'm going to try a different one. Is there another one? Yep, yeah, here's, here's a four ounce. So, this thing's huge. So let's see if this one smells different. Just because it's bigger. Because these are in really big cello bags, too. So, yeah, I could definitely catch more of the sugar, the sugar corn pudding in this one. Now, obviously, they smell the same. It's just that bag was, the bags are so big, as you can see. So, that has to travel up <laughs> the bag in, into your nose. This is really good. I like this. I love sugar corn pudding anything. I just absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, <clears throat> what I may do with some of these is cut them up. I mean, since this is like four ounces, I usually burn two ounces. Um, at the least. I mean, at, yeah, at the least is two ounces that I usually um, burn, melt. You guys know what I mean by now. So anyway, so I got three of the sugar corn puddings and vanilla bean noels. One was 3.7 ounces, one was 3.2 ounces, and one was 4.1 ounces. So I'm definitely going to have enough to cut them up, put them, repackage them in my cello bags and share. So that's, that's going to be really cool. I, that's that's kind of why I ordered them, because I want to, you know, try them out, but I also like to share. So, you know, and I always know, like, where she is, so I can always order more if, like, I absolutely love it. This is a scent shot. This was poured on the 10th. So this was recently poured. This is an Oreo. And this smells really good, too. It's a little light because, obviously, it still, it still needs to cure. But I do get the creamy middle. I'm not getting so much of the chocolate right now. But hopefully when it cures, the chocolate will, you know, pop out. But I definitely get the creamy middle. Oh, love, 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 love. And this one is honey pear cider type. Now, I'm not usually edge tape the lid, which to me is awesome. This was again was poured 910. Um, and this is just handwritten labels. So I'm assuming she kind of like wants me to try it and give, give input. So I will definitely do that. This is nice. Honey pear cider type. Now, the problem with, like I've said before, with me, this is just with me in general, when people say honey pear cider type. Now, type must be, I don't know, maybe this is a Bath and Body Works dupe. I don't know. Um, I don't have the scent list up, but this is light, too. I could definitely smell the pear. I'm not really catching honey or cider right now. But again, this was just poured on the tent, so, you know, that's been, what, six days? So, I'm going to let this cure. Um, but when I hear honey, pear, cider type, I really want to smell honey, I want to smell pear, I want to smell cider. To me, that's like a perfect, you know, I don't know. I get disappointed. Like, if something's named something, this is just me. You guys know me by now, how my little iter iter iterosyncrasies, idiosyncrasies. Idiot <laughs> Um 
if it's Mark's, this, I'm just using this as an example, but if it's Mark's honey pear cider and all I smell is pear, don't call it honey pear cider. Like, I know the fragrance oil might say honey pear cider type, but to me, if, like, you sniff it and you're not smelling honey or cider, don't label it that. You know what I mean? And like I said, this is just an example because this hasn't cured. So this probably will smell like honey, pear, and cider but once it cures. But just in general for vendors, like, change the name. You know what I mean? Like, say, say you, you name something lavender sugar cookie. Well, if all you smell is a sugar cookie, I'm sorry, it's not lavender sugar cookie. It's just sugar cookie. So I don't care what the fragrance oil says. Don't label it lavender sugar cookie. You know what I mean? Like, change the name because that's just, to me, that's deceiving. And not, like, deceiving in a bad way. It just, um, it just irks me. It just, I don't know. It's just one of my good things. I know. I'm, I know. I get a little. So here's a huge sample, you guys. This looks like about four ounces. This thing is huge. This is a chunk she sent me. This is an Toasted hazelnut sugar milk funnel cake. Again, I am not, I'll admit, I'm not a connoisseur of the whole mix all these scents together, chunks, overpours, whatever. Like, I know what they are. I'm not, you know, a dodo. I know what an overpour is and all this other stuff or whatever. I like them. And if I like the overall scent, that's cool. But if you ask me, oh, what's your favorite chunk? Like, you know. Or mix one, you know what I mean? I'm not a mixologist. Like, if you ask, oh, my God, I'd be so bad. I really would be. But, so, toasted hazelnut sugar milk, which, sugar milk I've gotten from other people, and I'm not, like, it's, to me, it's a condensed milk sort of smell, and I don't really like it at all. Um, and funnel cake, I do like, um, let me see how this smells. This is a great sample, you guys. Oh, my God. So this sample and the two scent shots for extra that she threw in. Look at how huge that is. I mean, that's huge. It's the size of my palm. That's, oh, my God, Kim. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. So let's see what this contraption, I'm going to call it a contraption because it's like so many scents. In, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It smells amazing. Um, I do I do catch that sugared milk, which is normally I would say no. But with this mixture, it goes well. Um, toasted haze hazelnut's my favorite absolute nut scent. Well, besides peanut butter, but I haven't gotten a good peanut butter. If anybody could tell me who has a good peanut butter, let me know below. Like it actually smells like if you open up a jar of peanut butter, you smell it, and it's strong, because I haven't gotten a good peanut butter yet. Um, this is really nice. Like, the funnel cake, you can smell. There's a little hint of cinnamon, but I can always do a hint of cinnamon. It's not an issue. It's just when you open the bag, you're like, whoa, cinnamon. I can't do those. This is a really nice blend. The sugar milk, like I said, it's kind of throwing me. I don't, um, but I definitely smell the funnel cake. I'm not sure if I smell the toasted hazelnut, to be honest with you, right now. But again, this was just poured on the 8th, so it hasn't been carrying long. So I'm sure this stuff is just going to get stronger and stronger. Um, so this is exciting. I'm going to have to go back to this one and see if the sugar milk still kind of is okay or if it gets stronger for me I don't know I don't know what it is with me and sugar milk for some reason sugar milk almost smells like spoiled milk to me I don't know I mean I know it I know the difference between sugar milk and if you stick your nose in spoiled milk and go oh you know like that's not any good but for some reason, it just gives me that, you know, my brain just goes, oh, okay, that's kind of funky. I, I don't know. Um, but like I said, in that blend, it seems really good. I hope the toasted hazelnut comes out more. I would like more of a nutty 
consent to that. So I really, I'm really excited to have all this stuff cure and try it out. I have lots to share. I will be cutting them up probably into fours. Um, so, oh my God, because like I said, I have a big, huge giveaway, guys. I'm going to post a link up above. Nope, other side. I will never get this down. Over here will be a link to the, the giveaway video. So, guys, please enter. Please send your friend to subscribe. And if they say, say your username is, I don't know, Lost Girl, you know, if when they put Lost Girl sent me, you get an extra entry. So, this box, I cannot explain to you how big this box is going to be. It's not going to be all wax. It's going to be bath and body. It's going to be nail polish. It's going to be... All, all stuff kind of related to Chris, my kind of stuff, you know, because um, I do love skulls and I do love tattoos, so some of that will be incorporated, but I'm also a Disney princess freak. I am anything fairy freak. Um, Vampire Diaries, obviously, um, um, I love to reuse, repurpose, recycle. There could be some cool stuff in there um, that I found that I tend to use. Like I said, nail polishes, bath and body, um, makeups. I, I just, it's going to be just a whole bunch of everything. Soaps, whatever, like a whole bunch of stuff that I, I really, really like. So, anyway, so please post. Nope, other side. <laughs> Over here, please hit that link when you're done watching this video and subscribe to my channel and um, post your biggest secret. And anyway, so that was Kim Marie Ann's. I can't wait. Thank you, Kim, so much. Love the card. Hysterical. I, I, I'm keeping it. I always keep my cards, and I'm keeping the envelope that says coffee ice cream on it. That's just too funny. So anyway, love you guys, and love you, Kim. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon.